gonna be a pretty hype match. And Koga and Sage on the other side. Um, I know Sage plays Rob, Koga is probably gonna go Martha Lucina, um, Hauka with Diddy Kong, and Joe ST with probably Cloud. Um, yeah. How do you feel about Ness's upbeat? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I always joke with Tony. We play doubles a lot. We play friends yeah. a lot. I always get hit by. Did you try to like too. edge card him? No, he just does it, and uh, he does it a lot. And most of the time, mm -hmm. I don't expect it because he does it so often just to hit people. You know, like straight hits oh. here and there. Okay. And I just get hit by it. Wario's too fat to get out of the way. He is pretty fat. Yeah. Right, so this is gonna be a good one. Kogan Sage. Uh, two newer players in Grand Seas, mm -hmm. Grand Seas some veterans in Joe ST and Palka. Palka's been playing for a very long time. Yeah. I was yeah. looking up some like Brawl videos and he goes back. He's been playing for a while. And Joe is too, so this should be good. This, this is going to be a good set because um, Lucia and... Oh, this is Mark, yeah. so he's, he's switching. Oh, guys, been playing a lot of Marshall Mm-hmm. Probably a good idea. It's probably more killing power with the tipper. You get more often punishes because you can squeeze the tipper activity and get the full tipper effect instead of just the boost. Mm-hmm. And Sage playing uh, his Rob. Pat and Rob. He's really good in uh, doubles, too. He's yeah, he's, he's very good with cooperating with his teammate. Um, these these people, I mean, this team here, um, Joe ST and Palka, what I think is so great about them, though, is that they have similar play styles. Yeah. So their, their synergy is just kind of like natural, you know? Yeah. It's kind of hard to explain that, but like some partners you just know. Right. If you have different play styles, sometimes you're like, oh, this is what I would do. But, but then they do a different option. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But these guys, uh, they do something for a while. They're, they're looking for the same thing. Exactly. So. When Joe ST is, is available or whatever, he'll just sit there and wait for Palka to do something. Wow, Sage catching the get up there, that was really good. Sage was pretty committed to how much he was get up, like Palka did. Mm hmm. It's good, uh, good up smash there, close out the stock. It's yeah, looking up. really even. We're stuck. Percentage uh, mark a little on the high side. What if you can get one of the patented marks really kill? <laughs> Alright, looks like they just sort of separated into two 1v1s. Yep. Which, uh, I'm not exactly sure how it works out. Yeah, it's not really Sage and Koga are no slouches. Diddy, Diddy's so strong in, like, everything. Like, he's just good <laughs> at everything. Yeah, he's really good in doubles as well. But the banana does a lot. Ooh, sure. waits for the air dodge there. Good on Sage. Koga's just, oh, oh, Koga's just like, destroying. Just pushing everyone away and yeah, nice up smash. He was there. keeping Fox at the ledge. He was still taking time out of his day to help Sage. Well, again, he hit the uh, Fox and he was with a nice force. And that's going to actually bring two to four stocks. But wow. Pretty high percent on green. Yeah, team. right there. Fox backer is definitely going to take it. And an up smash. This yeah. is such crazy, man. Oh my god. The spike from Sage. Classic gyro shenanigans make it very difficult to be one for help. But let's see if we can get it. And Sage oh. is so good with the gyro, so he is very good at the gyro setups, both uh, oh. the ledge based ones and the up smash mm -hmm. ones. So very, good. very quick match there actually. As close as that was, I think Koga's several moments on the left side of the stage really turned the tide. Mm -hmm. The forward Definitely. smash kill on Fox and the assist to get the kill on the Diddy Kong. He's so good at, at closing out the socks like that. Yeah. I mean, we're probably gonna see a switch to Cloud. We're gonna pull out the 599 team. <laughs> or we could even see the whole <laughs> double Fox. Coco also plays the Fox. Oh yeah, his Fox is very good. I, know. I called the 599 team. 1198, if you will. 1198, oh my god. Alright, so, yep. Thankfully they are blue, so it's not confuse us. Oh, with the limit? Yeah. <laughs> if you have like is a red costume cloud on a green team with limit, you're like, I don't know. It's it's very difficult to tell. Yeah. Well, here we go, we're going back into it. Um, Sage picking a slightly different option. Last time he came straight out of the gate for the gyro. Yeah. Charger. Oh, good. Wow, the away. side beast from Palka here. No oh. jump. Wow, they oh, still make it back. It back. See, this is a cloud also very good in doubles. Like, usually, although we're gonna do singles, it covers so much space. Definitely. That you saw Pelka, I believe, cover Rob getting back to the stage and still help Koga. Mm -hmm. Still help combo Koga. Wow, and that's how easy it is to kill right there. 
But yeah, what you were saying about the Nair, it's just like, it's so amazing because instant stage control, especially in doubles, you can just push the enemy team away. Right. Just with one move, it's insane. And again, even if you don't hit it, just control. Mm -hmm. But what can you say to survive that? Oh, well, he survived the wow. cross slash, he did not survive that forward. The marked forward smash there is going to take it. So now it is uh, 6 3, actually. I, I might have looked away for a few seconds. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that Mark only had one stock left. Jeez. Oh, go for another cross slash. But still, still good right. damage yeah. for the blue team here. Oh, okay. So apparently it was good a good switch though because it's working out for them. This is my personal opinion. I think Marth does pretty good against Fog. Just because like his speed and range can rival what Fog can do, even yeah. though it's not as ridiculous. Right. And he does have you know the chipper help. Mm -hmm. Probably offset potentially early. But, Robert, um, Robert 125. Oh, and it's Robert one stock now. Wow. Two stocks to three. But, as good as Cloud is, he could be easily gimped by either of these characters. Yeah, true. Mark with a uh, potential stage spike while he's recovering. Sage with a number of good projectiles and, of course, the air dodge and stage killing. Just based on Yep. True. Let's see. Sage with the grabs here. Ooh! Wow, that was an interesting option. <laughs> I, I like it though, it actually, uh... It worked! It got pretty well. That's not gonna... Not, oh, it's really good forward. Good forward smash, now. wow. Yeah. And that's gonna be it, man. That was uh, a cool. very good game. The 1198 one. is yeah. pulling through here. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see if they decide to stick with it. I can't see why they wouldn't, but maybe we'll yeah. see a potential switch from... 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Koga has a lot of characters. They're just in probably gonna have to pick a different stage and adapt. That's also a Olimar. He has played just today Corin, Ike, and Marth in doubles. He's played Ike in doubles? Yeah. Wow. He did the Mr. Freeze thing, dude. He grabbed me and he down threw me. Oh, the down and throw then he mix up. Me. Wow. Yeah, I was. Oh. Were you impressed? No, I was just asking. <laughs> that. that wasn't the Mr. Freeze. <laughs> Alright, so let's say he's going with the tried and the true Lucina. Nice. Yeah, Koga, Koga's been playing Lucina for the beginning of time, literally, before this game even came out. And Battlefield was a choice, I think, with the Black Hands. Um, Rob living forever on yeah, the stage. Yeah, yeah. And potentially Cloud not. I think it was a good pick. Mm hmm. At least better than the you know, ever default in Nashville. I agree. So Cloud, generally, um, he doesn't die off the top or side as much. Right. As he should. He, he should be dying off the bottom. Like, he should be gimped okay. if you want to play him right. So, on Battlefield, that's that's going to play a good a good role. And already off to a good start for the green team. They have a percent lead mm -hmm. by a small amount. Their the blue team is approaching kill percent. Both of them are. So, wow. Oh, killing his own teammate with a cross slash. And that was all because of the uh, gyro, actually. Oh, what's up, Waldo? What's up, Waldo? I'm trying to shout out the chat, but I'm not sure Waldo. Oh, what's up, Waldo? <laughs> right, so, we're still 6 to 5 for the road. It's gonna shout out to my brother in Ike main in the chat. Alright, sorry. Back to the oh, back to the game here. That was an interesting interaction here. I believe Elf was going for a down smash. Koga actually shielded it because he had some. It hit him in such a weird way that put it so far down that he left him in the back, which brings it worth it. Six, actually. He's not been able to take a stock in this This is such a good switch for the green team. Like, I think these platforms are exactly what they needed, and that was really weird. Um, I think Koga actually just saved his teammate by grabbing him. It's pretty weird. <laughs> I honestly don't know what happened there. Yeah, good stuff, though. Yeah. Um, and you're, you've probably seen the battlefield. Uh, come to fruition here with the 169% pop. Yep, same with uh, Alka there. Yeah. He's holding on to the stock really well, but Cena Forward Air is definitely going to take it. Okay. Wow. And, okay, 189. Yeah. going to do it finally. It's going to do we it. We are 4, 2, 3. Not out of the realm possibility. And really, it all depends on... Wow, what a... 
combo. Wow, that's Sixty-one percent already. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! That is a game changer. Oh yes. Wow. What I was gonna say, double is actually sometimes just based on who gets the stocks at the right time. Exactly. They can turn it into a two v one in favor of uh, Interesting. I like that cross slash actually. Whoa. Oh, another spike! Another spike. That's one. Wow. Two, three. This is. They Damn. bought it back so they fast. really did. The USD decided, you know what? I don't want to lose. Not today. I forgot I have this down here. <laughs> I'm going to use it. They really brought it back, dude. And now, with three stocks, they can definitely continue doing the 2v1 for a little while. Alright. So, took out one of them. Long still has two more to go. As long as help keep the stock. And they just, they just try and force you know, 2v1 situations where they can uh, take advantage. It's so difficult against Cloud. He just charges the limit while you're trying to make it backstage. Exactly. You see both charge. If they opt not to do the 2v1, they can just switch in and out. Exactly. Koga's probably gonna look for throws, but throws might not be the best in each of you in history. So those spikes were perfect. They were, they were exactly what they needed. Oh, no and then Yuji is gonna take it. Wow, good adaptation wow. by Yuji's team. That Koga. was the.